Hey guys, how's it going? Alan Scott here with ConcertUnique.com. Thank you so much for checking out another one of our super cool studio gear reviews. Now today is a bit of a different video because I'm not reviewing something that is specifically designed to be a piece of audio gear, but it's something that I have found invaluable as I've been traveling. And that is this incredible computer right here. This is the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. Now, as you guys may know, if you've been keeping up with the channel, I am currently traveling all over Southeast Asia and the rest of the world, filming episodes for my other YouTube channel, which is called Nomadic Bard. It's a travel documentary series where I go to all kinds of cool cities and produce music and take awesome cinematic video, do voiceover, and put together these travel films. Now, when I was planning to go out and do this whole project, I knew that I would need a super powerful laptop computer. And right as we were planning to leave, Asus released this monstrous machine, the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. And as soon as I saw it, I'd been kind of keeping up with the development because they'd announced a few demos at CES over the last couple of years of dual screen laptop technology that they were working on. And I knew that at some point I would have to check one out because of all the reasons that we're gonna go over in this video. But needless to say, this thing is absolutely incredible. So even though we don't normally review computers on this channel, I wanted to do this video um, just as kind of a change of pace, first of all, from doing our normal studio gear reviews, but also, you know, in the modern recording studio and for modern music producers, our computer is arguably one of the most important pieces of equipment that we use. You know, obviously they run our DAW, they are our sequencers, they're our tape machines, they're our editing stations. They're kind of the most important part of a modern studio. And so having a really good computer is very, very important to being able to make great recordings. Uh, you know, audio isn't the most spec intensive thing in terms of having the best you know, processor and the most RAM and all that kind of stuff, but it is still important to have a powerful machine, especially if you're working with a lot of plugins and VST instruments like I do. Now, there's a ton of really, really unique features about this laptop, and I'm going to go over all of them as we talk about it because it's really not only is it ideally designed for content creators, but beyond that, it's a massive leap forward, at least as far as I'm concerned, in how we use computers, especially laptop computers. And like I said, when I very first saw that they were building this thing, I knew it was something that I would want to have it use. I knew it would be absolutely perfect for the kind of work that I'm doing nowadays. And it has not fallen short of any of those expectations. So let's just start off with some basic specs. It has an Intel Core i9 processor in it. It's an eight core processor, each core clocking up to five gigahertz. So an outrageously powerful processor. It's honestly way overkill for audio, but I do so much 4K video editing, both for the Concertini channel here and also for my travel channel, that having something with a really, really powerful processor is incredibly important. It has 32 gigs of RAM, an onboard one terabyte solid state drive, which is lightning fast, and also has an integrated RTX 2060 graphics card from NVIDIA. This is one of the absolute top of the line desktop graphics cards around right now. And this thing is an absolute video editing monster. I can do a full 4K render. A 10 minute render takes about eight minutes if I haven't done too much processing or stabilization to the footage. Um, it's, it is an absolute beast when it comes to video editing. And because it's that powerful, it makes audio an absolute breeze. I can run huge sessions super, super easily. It doesn't choke. It doesn't, you know, drop out. It doesn't do anything like that. I get ridiculous latency figures because the processing is so fast. But that really is not the reason why I love it so much. So as you can see, we have our main screen up here, which is an OLED 4K screen that covers 100% of the DCI P3 color gamut, as well as Adobe sRGB. It looks incredible. The colors are super vibrant and it is a touch screen. But what is much, much cooler, it's probably a little washed out on camera right now, but we have what they call the ScreenPad Plus, which is also a 4K or kind of super slim 4K. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the camera over and I'm going to focus in on the screen so you guys can see it a little bit better and show you guys some of how I use this amazing ScreenPad Plus. Okay guys, so hopefully you can see a little bit better. Isn't this layout just absolutely amazing? I just love it. Well, you can see I have a session pulled up right now in Studio One for a track I was working on for one of our travel films. And 
that's really first and foremost where the screen pad comes into its own is as not only a secondary screen but it is actually a touch screen control surface so as you can see I can treat this exactly like you would treat like a Slate Raven or you know any kind of iPad control. I can do everything that I need to do with a control surface. I can open up plugins, I can solo channels, I can mute channels, I can arm channels, I can do all of my volume control. The fact that it is integrated here so beautifully is absolutely amazing and makes working an absolute breeze, especially when I'm working remotely. You know, I have a mobile studio set up here and we're gonna go take a look at that in just a minute, how I integrate it with the rest of my gear. But in terms of if I just hop on a plane to go somewhere for a couple of days and I need to maybe do some mixed tweaks for a client or something, I essentially have an entire control surface suddenly built into my laptop. And it's not just a touchscreen, it's positioned perfectly so I can do any of my editing, key command type stuff, and then I just jump up here and I basically have a whole console and can work with everything in my DAW exactly like I would if I had a control surface. Now, I also use this feature for Premiere. I just have kind of a blank random thing pulled up here because I don't have it connected to any of my external video drives. But as you can see down on the screen pad, we have room for my whole editing timeline, my effect controls all of my effects over here, as well as my clip bins. And then up on the main screen, I can dedicate almost the entire 4K screen to a program preview and source preview. So for video editors, it's absolutely a dream as well. You have so much more real estate to work with without having to you know, kind of do that old thing where you have to lug around a whole second monitor, find a way to set it up. That was originally my plan and what I was going to do. But when they came out with this laptop, I was overjoyed because it allows me to do everything all within this one incredibly convenient form factor. Now, even just as a multitasking machine, it's really amazing whether you do coding or copy editing or writing or really anything, having these two screens and having them in this arrangement and having them both be touch screens is really, really amazing. I can be working on writing a script up here and have references and research down here. If I'm transcribing something from a YouTube video, I can have it playing in either window and be typing in the other window. ASUS also provides all kinds of very cool multitasking features. This also comes with a pen, so you can actually use this as a drawing surface, and it's apparently a pretty decent one at that. So you can input using handwriting. There's all kinds of pre-configured little layouts for the bottom screen. You can have up to three windows horizontally. You can see here now I've got Spotify open. And if I want to listen to something, I can just come in here, smack play, and you're off to the races. And then I can keep working over here. I mean, it's, it's really just amazing what you're able to do with this machine. Everything is super easy to work with. It's not weird at all in terms of how the windows are laid out. Everything runs incredibly smoothly. You can have all kinds of stuff open and running without any issue whatsoever. And so the fact that they've been able to fit this much functionality into a package this small is just absolutely incredible to me. I think it's really, really cool. It's incredibly easy to use and it's super intuitive, but Aside it being just a standalone machine, let's go ahead and move into my studio and take a look at how I set it up to be more of a traditional dual screen kind of a setup. Okay, so back in my little mobile studio here, you guys can see how I have it integrated with the rest of my setup. I have a laptop riser stand that kind of adjusts to be able to prop it up above the rest of my gear. I have my console one sitting just in front of it on a smaller stand, and I've got my MIDI controller, keyboard, and mouse, I've got my speakers, I've got everything hooked up to my Focusrite Scarlet Solo. We're gonna be doing reviews on a lot of this gear in the coming months. But how amazing is this, okay? I have a dual screen setup, or screen and a half, I guess, but a dual screen setup in terms of functionality just right here all in one center column i don't have to worry about funky mounts on the outside i don't have to worry about positioning anything it just unfolds it slips right in and because it's got such amazing connectivity on the sides 
it's very easy to integrate tons and tons of external peripheral devices into it. We have an HDMI port, we have a single USB 3 port over here, as well as a headphone and mic combo jack, another USB 3 port, and then a Thunderbolt port down here, which I have connected to a USB dock down on the bottom. And I'm running three different external hard drives, an audio interface, this keyboard, a typing keyboard, a mouse, I'm running all kinds of peripherals into this thing and I never had any issues with like bandwidth or bus, anything like that. Um, it's really just an incredibly powerful machine that does exactly what I need it to do. And with it set up this way, I have all of my main stuff really easy with an access and then of course if I need to come up here and do any touchscreen mixing type stuff, I can do that as well or I can just point and click with the mouse, that's always fine too. But that's just the kicker about this laptop and why I love it so much is that not only is it insanely powerful and not only does it have this whole dual screen thing going on. The way that they've implemented it and the fact that they've combined an amazing feature set in terms of components along with this really cool dual screen layout design, it makes it absolutely perfect for any content creator on the go. You know, again, I'm traveling all over the world. I'm shooting videos for YouTube, both here on Concertini and over on Nomadic Bard. I'm also producing music for both of those channels and I'm still mixing and mastering and producing for all of my normal clients on Fiverr and Air Gigs and elsewhere. So in terms of an all-in-one solution, there really isn't a better computer on the market, at least that I know of. I mean, there's certainly laptops that are this powerful out there, but they only have a single screen. There are also some of the laptops, like the there's another Asus model where the trackpad is a separate screen. Um, and they do have now coming out a kind of smaller, more dumbed down version of this machine that has the ScreenPad Plus, but it doesn't have those amazing powerhouse specs. The fact that they've been able to fit this much tech into a laptop is absolutely mind blowing. And so if you're somebody who needs a machine like this, if it sounds like something that you could really use in your day to day work, I think it's the best option on the market right now. I also really do hope that other laptop manufacturers start coming out with devices like this, with true dual screen laptops, because it's an amazing form factor. It really ups productivity for professionals like myself. Yeah, I just think that it's a fantastic design. Now, notice that I have not mentioned the price as of yet. All of that tech does come at an expense. This is 3,000 US dollars, 2,999 and 99 cents. I paid full price for that. This review is not sponsored by Asus in any way, but while that could be an eye-watering amount of money to a lot of people, I understand for what it is and what it does, I think it is a perfectly fair price. For a lot of companies that make higher-end laptops like Alienware, um, even MacBook Pros, to match these specs, you would pay significantly more than that. You would be in the four to $5,000 range pretty easily to spec a MacBook Pro. First of all, you can't even spec a MacBook Pro as high as this thing is spec in terms of graphics power and all that, but you would easily run north of that figure either in the Mac world or in the PC world with something like an Alienware or a really high-end Dell or something. They're gonna be at that price point or even higher. And so the fact that they've brought all that processing power and graphics power and all that stuff into something that then has two screens and you can integrate into so many different setups it's, it's amazing, it really is. Now the ergonomics of the keyboard when you've got it kind of down on its own, they are a little bit funky, but fortunately, we are also provided this very cool little wrist rest which just slides right under the computer. It makes typing feel a lot more natural. Also having the trackpad off to the right like it is, is a little bit odd as well. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you get used to it, it's totally fine. There's also a cool little switch that switches the trackpad over to being a number pad, which is very, very handy. But, you know, overall, it's an amazing machine. It has become the absolute heart of everything that I do nowadays, whether it's video editing, producing and mixing my music, or even just for day-to-day -day browsing. I mean, I, I really don't know of any other computer on the market that can even hold a candle to it. That is how good it is. So if you guys are in the market for a super premium laptop, I know not a ton of you are, but if you're a content creator like me, or if you do anything in these fields, video editing, audio production, and you need a really high-end laptop that's going to get the job done every single time, I highly recommend it. The only drawback, literally the only drawback that I can find with this machine is battery life. Battery life is... 
really bad <laughs> because it's running so many computer components and it's running two screens. The battery lasts for like an hour and a half, two hours if you're just doing light internet browsing you can have the screen brightness down. Yeah, it's not great. Wherever I am, I usually have access to power. I'm not usually somebody who needs to use this thing like on a boat or like on a bus somewhere. I, I usually have it either in a coffee shop if I'm working remotely or just in my hotel room or set up in my old studio like this. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I have seen other reviewers talking about this laptop really harp on that and say, how can we use a laptop with a battery that only lasts for two hours? Well, this is a laptop that's much more a replacement for a desktop workstation than it is a laptop that's meant to, you know, go on the plane with you and you can use it and answer emails for 12 hours at a go. This is not the machine for that, but it's not specced for that either. You know, it's very clearly designed from the marketing literature. When you read through the specs and all that, it's a powerhouse laptop that is meant to get work done. It is not designed for casual browsing. It is not designed for your average user. It's designed for high power professionals who need to do content creation and other demanding processing tasks um, while they move about the world. So for that, I think it is the best product on the market, at least that I've ever used. And I've used a lot of different computers over the years. But those are my thoughts. What do you guys think of the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo? Do you think that this kind of a dual screen design in a laptop is cool? Is it something that you'd be interested in using? Is it something you would like to see other companies implement in their designs? Whatever your thoughts may be, let me know in the comments down below. Always love hearing from you guys. If you have not yet subscribed to the Constantine channel, please do so. It helps us out enormously. Click that notification bell to be kept up to date with our new videos. And of course, give us a like or share if you feel so inclined. But regardless, my name is Alex Scott with ConstantDeeming.com. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.